There's a lot to think about here. A significant threat of ice as it gets dangerously cold across the state. The big question for many, is our state power grid ready to handle the demand? ERCOT, the group that runs the power grid, predicting this Friday morning will be the second highest demand ever right behind last February's winter storm. It's coordinating with power companies and state emergency managers to make sure your power stays on. Governor Greg Abbott will meet with energy groups at 3 this afternoon for an update on their operations. Majority of state generators do meet new weatherization requirements. Lawmakers passing those major reforms requiring upgrades last year. A top exec with the power grid wants more oversight on some of the gas operations. And they actually want to create something they would call a gas desk at ERCOT. It would be a special kind of unit that would monitor the supply of natural gas to power plants statewide. Well, the gas is used to keep the power plants online. During one case last fall, ERCOT was not notified of maintenance work on a pipeline connected to a power plant that was needed to supply extra power. Now, it's also important that before the cold moves in, you want to make sure you're prepared. AAA suggesting creating an emergency kit, stocking it with stuff that creates traction like sand, salt, even cat litter. Also, you want to grab a flashlight with working batteries and some extra clothes First aid kits and snacks, also a good idea to grab. So there is a lot going on here and a lot of questions. Kristen Curry joining us here. And I guess the big one is how similar and how different is this from the storm we saw last February? Very different. Very, very different on many aspects here. First and foremost, the storm that we have coming in later this week is not going to last that long. I mean, if you think back to what we had last year, last February, we spent six straight days at or below freezing. That's not going to happen this week. 36 to 48 hours of freezing temperatures. Yeah, that's going to hurt, but it's not going to stick around and be as extended of a deep freeze as what we had last year. And secondly, this is one winter storm that we're looking at this week, tomorrow and Thursday, whereas back in February of 2021, it was five different storms rolling into six, seven days here. So very different setups, but we still need to prepare, right? We can't just think, oh, I'll be fine. You still want to make sure you've got the supplies needed in case your power does go out, especially in the fact that we've got an ice threat here, right? You got one car coming in, takes that ice too quickly, it hits a power pole your power is going to go out, right? So you want to make sure you're prepared. The winter storm watch is for that threat of ice of up to a quarter inch, sleet of up to half an inch, and wind chills teens and 20s. This starts Thursday, 3 a.m. continues pretty much all day. 